Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, it's new wheel time. The Falcon from the Gold. Just received this, it was flown in to me direct from the Gold. I'm sure uh, Jason E. Wills uh, facilitated this because uh, this is a special wheel just for E. Wills in the United States. I believe they're the only place you can buy this wheel. Uh, I did pay uh, for the air shipping, uh, so I do get to keep this wheel. I'll leave it up to you whether I'm still objective in my uh, commentary on this wheel. Uh, I am an unabashed lover of all EUCs. I, I think unless you're really jaded, you can enjoy all EUCs. They all have the pluses and minuses, purposes. Um, but uh, I'm not shy about uh, giving you my opinion on the <clears throat> pluses and the minuses. Now the last wheel that uh, Begold uh, sent to me directly and gave to me was the, the A2. <laughs> we all know how that turned out. Uh, and I wasn't shy about that wheel, which I will, uh, I have vowed never to ride again. By the way, it's been about uh, 10 months since I broke my uh, ankle on the A2. <laughs> um, and uh, it's probably about 90% better. I mean, I can walk and ride just fine, but it does hurt in the morning, hurts in the evening. <clears throat> And on rides, it can start getting to me. It's probably going to take uh, a couple of years before it's 100% uh, good, if it ever can be 100%. Anyway, this should be interesting. Small, I guess people refer to it maybe as a 14-inch wheel. It's really A2 size wheel. Uh, I believe it has the same tire. I did request that they send me this with a street tire. <clears throat> let's hope. Um, let's hope I did get the street tire. Since I did, I rode the A2 for about two miles. I had experience on the Nobby, and they sent me the A2 with a street because they complained about the Nobby. And I really did for that those two miles. I really did enjoy the the that street tire. So I think I will enjoy this. Um, but basically this is a 16 inch wheel that that's how I, I see it and the T4 might be considered a 16 inch wheel but it's really an 18 inch <laughs> the actual diameter of the, the tire <clears throat> all right let's see we get our ubiquitous uh, Allen wrench which is included with every wheel this is a hundred volt wheel I believe the A2 was 84 volt. People were saying, hey, this is Falcon is an A2 with suspension. No, not really. It's a different wheel. Boy, this uh, really reminds me of... Uh, <laughs> this is a Sherman um, charger. 5 amp. I think. Let's see. Actually, I think maybe the Sherman came with a 3 amp charger. But sure looks like one anyway. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's good. Got all my power supply, power stuff with a 900 watt battery, 50 S batteries, five amp charger. I think that stock charger is going to be fine. I don't think I will need a, a fast charger for this guy. <clears throat> it's not like I'm going to be going on. Uh, long distance rides with this kind of a wheel so yeah the, uh, this has a 2800 watt motor so pretty powerful and with those uh, 50s batteries it should be uh, <clears throat> you, should, you should be able to uh, supply quite a bit of power So tiny. <laughs> yep, 
Yes, I got the street street tire. <clears throat> and I believe it's tubeless. Hmm, boy, it smells like a smells like a new car. Power button. So I'm gonna hold the lift key button and then press the power button five times. There we go. Turn it off, turn it on, and it's balancing. Got three bars out of five. All right, let me pull the camera in, and give you some close up views of this guy. It is a tubeless tire for sure. I feel it's pretty pumped up. I'll double check the pressure. I'll probably be running this at about, uh, I like 28 PSI in, in all my wheels now. Uh, same pedals as the ET Max. Nice, fully adjustable. Um, not the best, still not the best pedal. I mean, they're really nice pedals, but uh, they can't take uh, a lot of abuse because as uh, Roger demonstrated on the ET Max, <laughs> you do a lot of big drops, these pedals can bend. But for this wheel, I think they're, they're gonna be perfect. Display is also what you get on uh, ET Max. This trolley handle, which I'll show you on the ground, but uh, obviously is also very reminiscent of the ET Max. And this whole cover, same kind of um, translucent plastic. Hopefully you can see these are the two buttons, the power button and the lift button you press this momentarily tap it twice and that uh, disengages the motor here's the charge port again this is just like a small version of um, the ET max of course uh, only a hundred volts and you can see the orange maybe you can see the orange cable for the phase wires and I can see the, the little uh, the springs lightweight springs in there the view at the bottom of the battery cases. We'll say everything is metal that I can see on this wheel except for the translucent cover in the top. Very nice. The default um, pads have to install, provide a little bit of protection in the corner, a little bit. Nice and beefy metal uh, fender in the front. And in the back, this is all metal. Tell you guys, it's another, uh, it's another winner in terms of build quality on these wheels. I mean, I don't know. The gold has, uh, they've really changed the last um, couple of years. And uh, all their newer wheels, just, um, they're nice. I gotta tell you, now the, the light, I did notice that, interestingly, they got rid of the flashing lights. I use the flashing lights a lot when I ride uh, during the day. Just, um, you know, better visibility for cars and whatnot. Let them know you're coming. It's interesting that they dropped that. Let's, uh, let's take this pad off. So what's interesting is they're pre-installing Velcro now. <laughs> Maybe I can't, I probably can't take it off without taking the pedals off. I just kind of wanted to take a look down here. So yeah, the Velcro is pre-installed. Kind of like the ET Max, lots of available um, countersunk holes, which are is very cool for potentially mounting stuff. Not sure how custom you want to get with a, a wheel such as this, but um, I'm gonna ride. Try I'm gonna ride with this stock configuration, um, 
but I might go with other pads later. And if I do, I might have to install an, an extension panel here to, to uh, put those other pads on, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, here's that uh, real, real lightweight looking um, coil spring. Should be very interesting. So yeah, that's really, uh, I like how what they're doing with their pads now. Pre-installed Velcro. Probably get to take this out of the box and just have fun with it without doing any adding anything to it. All right, let's put this on the ground. Check out that trolley handle. First, I want to comment on the lifting handles for this, which is uh, here and here, and unlike the ET Max. They're actually ergonomic now. They're rounded, very comfortable. So uh, the trolley handle is basically what you're using to lift the wheel. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, oh, I forgot to, uh, <laughs> this is really a lightweight wheel. Uh, very, very portable. So um, the lifting works great. And for the trolley, there's this clip, spring clip. You just hold, so you, you kind of, well, you can do it with one hand, yeah. Two, but you have to pull it back to re-engage it. A little bit awkward, but definitely with one hand, you can just do that, lift it up. And uh, this feels good. I'm 5'11", and it uh, doesn't feel like I have to, I mean, ever so slightly lean a little bit to hold it as I'm walking, but this feels very serviceable for, um, I mean, how I plan on using this wheel for, is uh, an around town wheel for doing errands, all that kind of stuff. And uh, the built-in trolley handle, I think, is gonna work perfectly for going in stores. This wheel feels so light. <laughs> really nice. Okay, well, my uh, first impressions, which I think you're picking up, is um, very favorable. I wish I could uh, throw some dirt at this wheel right now <laughs> because uh, maybe I'm not coming across objective enough, enough but, um, you know, First impressions are very positive. You know, I think back to the very first wheel I learned on uh, eight years ago now, the ACM, most powerful wheel you could buy on the planet at that time. And uh, this wheel is much more than that wheel. A 2800 watt motor. The ACM, that 67 volt wheel, if I remember, was 1200 watt motor. It had a 670 watt hour battery, 900. Obviously no suspension and the build quality. <laughs> I tell you guys, you guys that rag on Begold right now, which I think at 2024 is kind of unfair based on what they're doing with their wheels. You should go back eight years and see how, how they were building uh, their wheels. And I was a huge fan of uh, Gotway. That was their name back then. Uh, so again, I, I really strive not to get jaded with riding EUCs. I love them all. They're all fun. If you can't have a fun time on any EUC made right now, uh, I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Uh, now, of course, I haven't ridden this. That's going to be next. But just giving you my impressions and where we are in the, the timeline of EUC development, this wheel is coming across is awesome. I connected to uh, connected my uh, Begold app to this. Uh, believe it or not, it supports the race mode and the off off-road mode. <laughs> It's in the off-road mode right now. That's why it's quiet. Um, but yeah, I switched to racing mode, and you know it's got it's got the loud motor, uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of funny that it sports those two modes. Probably, maybe it sports field weakening too. <laughs> Though I think the top end speed on this wheel is 31 miles an hour. Look, this this style wheel, personally, I'm just not going to probably ride this wheel much faster than 20 miles an hour. Uh, I've got lots of other wheels I can go much faster with. I just think the smaller diameter tires, you hit something unexpected. Uh, I just don't, I think they're meant for lower speeds, obviously. And uh, I have no desire to, to try and push the limits on this wheel. Uh, I'll give it to Dawn, so you would let her uh, let her push it. Unlike the S16, I don't think uh, I don't think it would power dip on her at 31. It would just um, I I'm not sure what it would do. Dawn, <laughs> it's coming your way. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, it's nighttime here, so the next video I'll throw out, I'll be on the on the wheel and uh, take it around town and see how the suspension feels and how this how the whole thing uh rides i'm i'm really looking forward to it all right i hope you um enjoyed this wheel it was i hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful to you and uh until next time safe riding <laughs>